Everybody, it is 6:15 on your Friday. You made, made it, it. Woohoo! Or we've made it, or uh, we're celebrating something this morning. Not necessarily the temperatures, though. It no. is now time for local five weather on the fives with meteorologist Brandon Lawrence. So, believe it or not, actually. There is improvement out there, but not enough where you uh, don't still want to make sure you're completely covered, you know, yeah. cover up those fingers, the face, all the things as you're heading outside. Yeah, the biggest improvement this morning is that the wind itself is very calm. OK, the temperatures are lower, but they also get higher this afternoon. We are going to warm up more, so there is good news in sight. It's not great news, <laughs> but it is better than what we've had for you, right? Here's a live look outside. It is clear, but whoo! It's cold. Look at these wind chills around our state. It feels like 23 below in the city of Des Moines right now. Centerville down in Appanoose County feels like 21 below, 23 below in Perry, 20 below zero for a wind chill in Ames, and 29 below in Marshalltown. I almost passed over Newton. That has a wind chill there of 31 below zero. The air temperatures are low as well. It is 20 below zero in Ames right now, eight below in the city of Des Moines, 15 below in Newton and 15 below in Iowa Falls. The wind chill advisory is still in effect through noon today. There are many school districts on two hour delays. You'll see those rolling at the bottom of your screen. We will have sunshine and it will warm up more today. By noon, it'll be seven above zero. We get into the teens this afternoon above 3 p.m partly cloudy and 15. The wind chill also improves later on today. This carries us through tomorrow morning. We will see those wind chills finally climbing above zero in the single digits still, but it will feel quite a bit different than what we have right now and what we've had the last several days. The weekend actually all things considered looks pretty good. The high 26 tomorrow there will be light snow moving in mainly in northeast Iowa tomorrow night. Sunday, partly sunny to mainly cloudy, the high 23. There's actually a light chance of snow tonight as well. Sort of three little clipper systems coming through. Future cast shows that cloud cover increases throughout the day today. By 6 p.m., light snow showers develop over north central Iowa. 8 o'clock, they're rolling through Ames and potentially the north side of the Des Moines metro. By 10 o'clock, it's already clearing to the east, and then we've got a partly cloudy sky tomorrow morning, and then we repeat the process tomorrow evening by 6, 7 o'clock. Snow showers develop over northern and northeastern Iowa. This may affect the northeastern side of our area, but largely stays outside of the Des Moines area, and it will be gone as we go into early on Sunday morning. Now, tonight we get a dusting at best, one to two tenths of an inch of snow, and then we will see a chance of accumulating snow as we go into tomorrow night in northeast Iowa. That's where we could see two to five inches from Mason City to Waterloo to Cedar Rapids. I think that stays outside of Des Moines, though, so we're good there. A look at our 10 day forecast brought to you by Holt Plumbing and Heating. Lots of temperature variation the next several days. The next Arctic blast will be arriving for Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, you keep saying Arctic blast and I'm like, well, I know, and people say that sounds dramatic. You know, oh, they're making it sound worse. No, literally, yeah. it is coming from the Arctic. It is a blast of cold air. I don't know how else you refer to it. <laughs> how about how many days until summer? <laughs> Can we get that countdown? Start, countdown. Can we start with spring, Jackie. <laughs> okay. Little baby steps. By the way, it's 60 day up, less than 60 now until the start of spring.